Hi everybody, how are you today? Did you have a wonderful day today? I sure did. Yeah, I was just telling White Dragon Horse and Horus what a great day I had. I got to play with my friends. I got to hear some stories. Huh, my heart is full. Yeah, and I was telling exciting news to White Dragon Horse and Horus that on Tuesday, they're going to come with me to Mangio. Yeah, Sammy wants to tell a story with White Dragon Horse, Horus, and I think she's going to bring her unicorn. How exciting. So they get to come and see all the friends at Mangio on Tuesday. Do you think they're excited? Yeah? Should I ask them? Okay. White Dragon Horse, are you excited to go to Mangio on Tuesday? Oh, I don't think friends can hear you. What are you saying? Positively, absolutely, incredibly excited. That's what White Dragon Horse said. How about you, Horace? Are you excited? Hmm, what's happening for you? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Horace says he hasn't been to Mangio for a long time not since March and it makes him a little bit nervous and his heart is a little bit worried about going back to Mangio because he hasn't been there for so long. Have you felt that way too? Yeah? Can I tell you something? I was nervous as well when I went back this week because it felt different. Yeah, we're in a different classroom maybe, and not all our friends are there. So it feels a little bit different, but you know what? It feels fantastic. You will be so excited to be back. And I think Horace, I think once you're back at Mangio and you see your friends there, you might not want to come home with me on Tuesday. You might want to stay there. Yeah. He said he's going to try it. Yeah. That's a good idea, right? We can always try. Mm -hmm. And maybe his heart will feel happy on Tuesday. Yeah. I'm going to put him over here and put White Dragon Horse over here. Because I have to tell you, when I was at Mangio today, Teresa and Christian were there. And I asked them for an idea for a story. And Teresa wanted the story to be about Helen, who works at Mangio. And Christian wanted the story to be about a little boy who brings food to his grandma. Isn't that wonderful? My heart was so happy when I heard Christian say that. So I'm going to try to tell a story and I will use our friend. Who is it? Can you tell if you look there? Who has some white hair on the top of her head? Princey! Yeah! And I will use our other friend who, do oh, who doesn't have white hair on the top of her head. Rolly! Yeah! Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. okay. Once upon a time, there were two friends who went to play together. And they decided, well, actually, their mommies and daddies decided that they should go to Mangio daycare because mommy and daddy had to go to work. They were a little bit nervous, but they were so excited that they were going to go to daycare together. 
So they went to daycare and they were in a classroom and the teacher's name was, do you need a clue? Hel Helen, that's right. Helen was the teacher and Fritzy loved Helen and Rolly loved Helen. All day long, all Helen heard was, Helen, 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 Helen. Oh, poor Helen's head was spinning. She heard her name so many times. But she loved Fritzy, and she loved Rolly, and she loved to do yoga with them. She taught Fritzy how to do child's pose, and she tried to teach Rolly how to do it, but Rolly didn't like laying. Rolly liked the dog pose and tree. She tried to do tree, and sometimes she got it, and sometimes she didn't. But they relaxed their bodies, and they felt so <sighs> peaceful. They loved their Helen. And Helen loved them so much. Helen would draw them pictures. She would bring flowers into the daycare so the children could smell them. They had to be careful though, because Fritzy sometimes <sighs> chomped on the flowers because cows do that sometimes. But Helen was very careful. <clears throat> And Helen was telling them one day about a little boy whose name was Red. His nickname was Red. Why do you think his name might have been Red? Yeah, he loved the color. Red! He always wore a red shirt and red pants. And he had red shoes. He loved red because it reminded him of his favorite car. Do you know the name of that car? You're right, Lightning McQueen. He loved, 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 loved Lightning McQueen. And Fritzy didn't at first, but she started to like Lightning McQueen. And Rolly too, like, she liked Lightning McQueen. But anyway, <clears throat> this boy Red went for a walk in the forest and he was taking a box full of yummy treats. What would be some yummy treats that you would put in a box? Me too. That would be so yummy. And I would put some, if my bottle of water, um, an apple, mm -hmm. crunchy, crunchy apples. These guys like to eat apples. Um, what would you put in a box of treats? Hey, that's my hair. You can't eat my hair. We're not going to put hair in a box of treats, are we? Mm -mm. What do you think, Fritz? Oh, Fritzy said maybe some cheese that's made from her milk. What a great idea. So cheese and apples, maybe some sandwiches or pizza. Yeah, Red had a box full of treats that he was taking. Who do you think he was going to take that box of treats to? Yeah, yeah. And remember, Christian said he wanted in the story that the grandma would get some treats, some food. So Red was taking this big box of treats to his grandma in the forest. He walked through the forest. He went around trees. At one point, he even climbed a tree. And then he climbed down the tree. He was so tricky because he could carry a box of treats and climb trees. Can you do that? Not me, that's for sure. I don't really like to climb trees. I like to watch children climb trees, but not me. So he took the box of treats and he 
knocked on Grandma's door. Grandma, are you there? Grandma, are you there? Do you think Grandma was there? She was, yeah. So Grandma came and she opened the door. <gasps> Red, how wonderful to see you. And Red was so happy to see his grandma. Grandma, I brought treats for you. Maybe you and me can share them. What do you think? What do you think grandma said? Did grandma want to share her treats? Yeah, she did. You're right. She shared the treats with Red. And they were, they had ate and they ate and they ate <sighs> and then they were so tired that they had a nap and when they woke up they played some games together and then grandma took red home and they had a visit at red's house with red's mummy because she was home from work then mm -hmm. and they were all very happy and Helen, at this time in the story, she said, all good stories when they come from your heart and from your brain, their ending on, a, on those good stories is, do you guys know what it is? Tell me. They all lived happily ever after the end. And Helen finished the story. And the children were so happy. Rolly loved the story. Fritzy and Rolly, they both, I just got their names wrong. Fritzy and Rolly loved the story. And they came home and they were so happy to tell me about it. And you know what? Because this story came from my heart and my brain, and I'm giving my story to you to share. It's your story to tell. And we can say we all lived happily ever after the end. My friends, I hope you have the most amazing weekend. I hope that you remember to be kind, to love the people around you, and to lead with your heart. Be kind love one another, and help everybody, right? Right. I will see you guys very soon. We all love you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.